Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial on Postman. This is Valentine and in this video I wanted to clarify what is the difference between path parameters and query parameters. Right here I have the Trello documentation opened and I'm using the boards endpoint and in this case I'm trying to do a put request so to update something regarding a board on Trello. And, and you can see here the documentation says that you should use this address and you have here a path parameter which is id and you also have query parameters that you can specify and you're probably wondering exactly what is the difference between them and how can you deal with them and let's take this address and i'll show you in postman exactly how you can deal with that if i type this address here what the Trello API is actually expecting is that I provide here a board ID and IDs come in different forms. Uh, I will just make an example here and say that my board ID is one, two, three, and four. Now, one, two, three, and four, even though it is something dynamic, it is still part of the path. So the board resource that we are calling here with this ID has this full path. And if you don't provide this full path in this way, Trello will not be able to find this resource and to give it to you. So it doesn't matter which kind of a request you do. If you, go, if you do a get request on this resource or if you do, like I was trying to do a put request to update some information, without providing this full path, this will not work. And additionally, you can see in the documentation that you can specify query parameters and the difference between path parameters and query parameters is the following so if i try to specify the query parameter name let's go here right below to params and i'm gonna say name is my new board name you'll see a couple of things that happened so first of all it looks different. So everything that we have after the question mark that you see there are query parameters. And they're sometimes optional or most of the time optional, but not always, depending on the, how the API works. But generally they are sort of optional parameters that you can specify. The thing is that they are definitely not part of the path. They are some additional information that you give when you're calling the resource. So what's happening here is that the first part of the request, this is the resource that you are trying to get. You're dealing with a board one, two, three, four. And on this board, you're doing a specific action and providing some additional information that's needed for that request. And what's happening is that you can have additional query parameters one after the other. And you will see here how Postman automatically updates the address. So again, everything that is after the question mark is a query parameter and it's not part of the path itself. And you will see here that query parameters are written this way. We still have a key, the value, key and a value. And those are per query parameters. You can easily edit them in Postman by using the params panel. Now the thing with the path parameter is that you can edit that in Postman as well. And all you have to do, for example, is to replace it with column ID or any other name that you would like to give it and say here, one, two, three, four. So this will make it for Postman a bit easier. And what Postman will do, it will automatically replace this with the value you have given here so that the address itself is a bit easier to read and that you can use variables and so on. And you notice that this parameter is before the question mark. So everything that is before a question mark and sort of looks like a variable, then this is a path parameter. And you don't have to do it this way, but Postman offers you this possibility so that you do not have to fiddle without it with a full address, which can be a bit long. And just to make it clear, you do not always have just one path parameter. 
you can have multiple. And if you even look here in the existing path, this number here, this one, this can be a path parameter as well. And for whatever reason, we can just re replace it. We don't know exactly what this is. Let's say this is the API version, for example. You say here, API version, and I can say one. So I'm using on the Trello API, the API version one. I'm calling the boards endpoint, and I'm getting the board with a specific ID. So inside the address, you can have multiple path parameters and multiple query parameters. And again, everything that is before the question mark and that contains a number, a value, something that changes or can, can change, it's worth putting it in a variable so that you can easily edit it using the panel. Just put a column and you give a name as you would like it to be and Postman will replace that with that. And this is a bit in contrast with query parameters which get a key and a value and are automatically added. So the syntax is a bit different. And what you should notice additionally is that it even says here, you see a delimitation between the first part and the second part. And you can additionally see that by query parameters, you can disable them. So you can add them or remove them. But you cannot do that for path parameters because without a path parameter, the path wouldn't be the same. It will change. It will, uh, if I, I would to remove API version, I will end up in an, on a different path and this will definitely not work. You will not reach the same address that you would originally want it to reach. So this is why you cannot disable path parameters because they are part of the path. Guys, I hope this tutorial helped you to better understand what's the difference between query parameters and path parameters and how you can work with them inside Postman. In case you have any other questions, just let me know in the section below and I will be more than happy to help you. That's about it for today. Please remember to subscribe and see you next time at another tutorial. Bye bye.